Hi crafty friends, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how I made this clean and simple happy anniversary card using this heart die, but we're not going to use this heart die, we're going to use this hexagon die. So I'm going to use the same techniques and ideas on the card, but create a different look for you. So we're going to start with our inking, and for this card I used saltwater taffy, and tattered rose which are very pale pinky colors but for this card i'm going to go broken china and tumbled glass this is a greeny blue or a bluey green and this is a nice blue and i'm going to start by adding the broken china which is slightly darker well which is the darker of the two colors and i'm going to add that in the middle of my card but i don't want too much color so I'm going to load up my brush so that it's got lots of broken china on it but brush it off a bit first on some scrap paper so that I've got a bit more control over how much I add and I'm just creating a gentle circle of bluey green in the middle but slightly above center so i think that'll do now i'm going to just brush my blue brush off on this microfiber cloth and then bring in tumbled glass and i'm going to go over sort of working my way gently around the outside and this will hopefully kind of soften the edge and fade the colour to, to white. If I feel I need to, I can always bring in a bit more broken china back into the middle. With this one, I managed to fade it out really nicely. There's no brush strokes or anything. With this one, around the edge, there is a kind of fuzz of brush strokes. And actually, I quite like that with this blue. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to get that smoothed. I'm going to go for that as a slightly different look. So here's my nesting die. Not sure which way up I'm going to put it yet. Maybe that way. And I think that will sit nicely on there. With my heart card, I didn't do anything else to the background. But with this card, I want to spatter on some metallic paint I think but I want to keep it restrained to the inky area and for my splatters I'm going to use a very pale gold from my Prima metallic accents palette this is a hybrid of the originals palette and the pastel palette and I'm going to take off as much of the liquid as I can because I don't want massive splatters and I'm just gently going to splatter to get some small, small splats. Now I'm going to dry that with my hairdryer. So that's dry. I can lift the masks. I'll keep those because they're useful for something else. Now my background is finished. I can add the panel to my card blank. My card blank is a four by six inches. Smooth white cardstock. I forgot to mention that my panel is smooth white cardstock as well and I used a stitched rectangle die to cut it out. So I'm going to cut two of these hexagon nets, one from gold glitter cardstock. This is from Crafter's Companion and it is my favourite gold glitter cardstock because it's a pale sort of champagne gold and it is 100% non-shedding, which I like very much. So I've got a pile of gold glitter hexagons there, which I will use, some of them anyway, on this project. And here is my gold glitter hexagon net. I'll just take out these little filler bits. I don't think I need those. This would, I think, with the blues, also look really nice in silver. So a silver glitter or silver foil cardstock would work well with this. So I've got my white frame and my gold frame, and I'm going to stick the white frame on top of the gold frame slightly offset so the gold frame is peeking out from behind 
To do that, I'm going to use high tech glue, so it's just PVA really, and a sponge dauber. This is a great way of adding PVA glue to the back of intricate, delicate die cuts. Just pounce the glue onto it like that. And that's sticky enough to stick onto something like this. And now that's stuck together, I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the glue. Um, when you finish with this, just take the foam pad off, stick it in a little glass of water or a little pot of water. And then when you finish your crafting session, you can take it to the tap and give it a, a wash under the tap with a bit of maybe warm soapy water or something. And your sponge dauber will be as good as new. So now, let's see, do I want small at the bottom? No, I think I want it that way up. I'm just gently going to sit that there and hold the card up so I can get a good look at it and just shuffle it to where I want it. I'm going to press it down with deli paper. You can use greaseproof paper. You can use baking parchment. You can use the release paper from double-sided adhesive sheets or sticker packs. It's just anything that is kind of slick and won't grab onto the glue. It will just let you press down through it so everything gets nice and flattened out. The reason I use deli paper is because I've got a big pack of it left over from uh, sort of gel printing experiments. Now I want to pop in a few hexagons back in and I should be able to sort of stick those under the white frame so I'm thinking maybe just three like that so I'll put some glue on them in a minute one two a little one at the top there so five we've got an odd number I do like an odd number so with this one I only put one heart back in because I felt that one big heart was enough I could have added maybe a few others, but that is the focal point, I think. So I'll just spread a little bit of PVA glue there and I can dip my hexagons in it and shuffle those. I might even be able to peel up the white one a little bit. And we can put a bit of glue under that white one if it needs it, under the white frame. If I'd have thought about it a little bit more, I might have stuck the gold frame down, put my gold hexagons in and then stuck the white frame on top, but this works. Right, I'll just pop a little bit of extra glue under these bits I flicked up. And the same up there just so they don't get caught when you put a card into the envelope. Okay, I'm happy with that. For the sentiment, I've chosen this happy birthday die and I've die cut it from white cardstock. On the original card, I backed it with the gold glitter, but I think on this one, I'm gonna back it with some broken china and tumbled glass. So I'll give that a really good coating. Just draw around it so I know how much to cut out. I'm going to cut within those lines so that the blue is completely hidden behind the happy birthday. Of course, you could uh, leave a bit of a border if you wanted, but I'm not going to do that today. And here we go with the high tuck glue again. We'll just smooth that out a bit like that. Press that down. Make sure it all gets a bit of glue all over the back. Pop this on here. So with a happy birthday, I pop that down there. I think I might add it on top of this, maybe about there. And just use my T-square ruler to make sure that that is straight. And there we have it, two cards made with the same design idea, but different colours, different dyes, different sentiments, a bit of a different positioning, 
do let me know in the comments which one you prefer and if you were to maybe do something like this yourself what kind of occasion would you create it for what kind of recipient have you got anything in your stash that you could use like these little net dies right i hope you found it helpful and it's given you some ideas and i hope to see you back here tomorrow for my next video thanks for watching bye for now